How's it going today, my friends? Of course, I hope you're all having yourselves a fantastic day. My name is Liam FPS or One End Liam, and today I'm coming at you with this commentary up on the One Nation Pub Stomping channel. But before we jump into today's commentary topic, today's gameplay is brought to you by One End Paris. It's a solo double nuclear using the VMP playing some domination on COD BO3. But anyway, if you enjoyed today's gameplay, definitely go and check out Paris. His link will be down below. He's going to be bringing you very, very consistent and high standard Black Ops 3 gameplays all the way during the game's life cycle. And if you enjoyed today's commentary, definitely come and check out me. My link will be down there just under commentator. I make Call of Duty Black Ops 3 tips and tricks videos. A lot of stuff's changed since the last I don't upload about a month ago. You know, I've changed the style of my videos, but I think it's had to change for the better. But anyway, since I specialise in tips and tricks for various games, I thought I'd kind of apply that to the YouTube world. And in today's commentary, I want to give you guys some tips and tricks on how to get your YouTube channel started, what you might need, what you might need to do, who you need to talk to, etc, etc. So the first tip is actually harder than it sounds, and I know this kind of sounds weird, but the first thing you're going to have to do is think about what type of videos you want to specialise in. Of course you're going to have to choose what game, but since this is Call of Duty Pub Stomping channel, we're just going to assume that the game you've picked is Call of Duty. So after you've picked a genre of video you want to make, you're going to have to start getting your equipment ready. The first thing you're going to need is some form of capture device, because if you're in this COD community, of course, you want to do like gameplay commentaries and stuff like that, and you're going to have to like, you know, record over gameplay, so you're going to have to have some way of recording said gameplay. Now when we start talking about capture cards, two for me definitely come to mind. That's going to be the Elgato HD60 and the Hapag HD PVR. They're both really good, but I would tend to lean more towards the Elgato, because one, that records in 1080p, and two, records in 60fps. And while we're on that subject, I cannot stress enough that quality over quantity is key. Quality is definitely key in this community, and well, if you're making any video, quality is key to be honest. I would rather see one really good video a week than seven really, really crappy ones. Now, if you've got your capture device, the next thing you're going to need is a microphone because you know you want to record commentary and stuff. If you're just starting up YouTube for the first time and you're not really sure if you want to sink a lot of money into it, if you're not sure if it's going to go anywhere, I definitely recommend buying the Blue Snowball. It's got really, really high quality audio for the price. I think it's only like $50 or something, which that's like, what, 30, 40 pounds, something like that. Apologies if I didn't mention it at the start, but I kind of presume that everyone would assume this. You're obviously going to need a semi-decent computer to be able to run your Elgato, because I'm not exactly sure the specs for the Elgato, like what your PC needs to run it, but it is... It's not too high end, but it's fairly average to be honest. Now if you do decide to buy the Elgato, you're kind of lucky enough because the Elgato software actually comes with its own editing software. Now it's not too complex, it's not too fancy, but if you just want to like cut and insert audio and stuff, it's going to be perfect for you. Of course as time goes on and if you want to use your own like third party editing system, I definitely recommend Sony Vegas. Or if you're using a Mac of some sort, iMovie I think actually comes with a Mac, so there you're sorted right there. Now that that's video production more or less done, the next thing is actually a really key component when it comes to YouTube, but a lot of like new people to YouTube or startup YouTubers tend to forget this, but that's thumbnails. Thumbnails are very important because when you look at a video, it's definitely going to be the thumbnail that draws you in. Now, to be honest, there isn't a lot of affordable editing systems on the market, and I mean for like photos and stuff, not videos. Of course, the key one you're probably thinking of is Photoshop, but I think Photoshop is quite expensive. I don't know the exact price. Now you can get a cracked version, but definitely be careful where you get it from and because a lot of websites are very dodgy that way. When I was doing some research, I actually did find a very good and affordable editing system. It's called Pixlr. I don't know how you spell it. You can just Google Pixlr and it should redirect you to their website. I think it's like $10, $15, something like that. It's very affordable. It's not like the hundreds upon hundreds of dollars that Photoshop costs. Now, the next thing that's very important about your video is the title and aspect, like the title itself, the description, the tags to the video. The title is definitely very important because besides the thumbnail, you know, automatically, I think people look at pictures first, so make sure your thumbnail is very, very nice. It's definitely important that your title describes the game you're playing and what you're doing. Now, I'm not saying, like, there's definitely a fine line between clickbait and marketing. You definitely really need to use some marketing when it comes to titles and thumbnails. You have to... You have to put the right stuff in the title to draw people in, but yet yeah, don't go all out and put like insane times 14,000 crypto key legendary opening or something like that, when in fact you're only opening 10 common supply drops, you know, don't go that route. Also, while we're on the subject of titling and tagging and stuff like that, your description has to have enough detail in it as well. If you're using social media, which I definitely recommend you do, like your marketing and stuff, so you can get your links and stuff out there, like Twitter, Instagram, stuff like that. Definitely get the links down in the description, leave a nice little paragraph of what you do and what you talk about in the video, and maybe leave some links to some other credible sources that you maybe used, or any friends that helped you out with the video. 
Tags are definitely very important when it comes to making videos because if you're not aware, tags are actually like the keywords and phrases that help link your video to the search engine. So say you put like insane supply drop open in your tags and someone searches that, that's going to help link that video to their search. The next and final thing I'm going to talk about today is networking. It's definitely important that you try and get yourself out there with other names, like say another YouTuber that's maybe a little bit bigger than you offers to do a collab. Definitely take it because it's going to get your name out there. Maybe some of the reviewers will come over and see you. If you have the opportunity to join a team, say you're in a competitive, maybe join a competitive team, an elite team, something like that. If you're in a pub stomping like me, try and join a pub stomping team. You know, you meet some great guys, you get your name out there, you help them grow their videos. Networking is really good all around, to be honest. If you have a couple of friends that have started up YouTube just like you, you know, collab, do fun videos, you know, just do stuff like that. Anyway, that's all the tips I can give you guys for today. If you enjoyed the gameplay, definitely go and check out the player. His link will be down below. Araz is a great guy, I'm sure he'd appreciate it if you went over to his channel and supported his videos as well. As would I, I am on the road to 100 subscribers, so if you could come over and help me out, that would definitely be appreciated. Later this afternoon, I'm going to be making a video about how you guys can win a game in PC, so definitely, definitely don't miss that out. Check out my link, and obviously check out Paraz, but if you enjoyed today's video, why not leave a like, share with your friends, sub to 1N, and I'll see you guys later. Adios.